Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about the muscles of mastication. There are four muscles of mastication. These are the major muscles of mastication, which are temporalis, masseter, and lateral pterygoid, and the medial pterygoid. We shall now discuss about the origin, insertion, knob supply, and action of the individual muscles. Firstly, temporalis. Temporalis muscle. This is a fan-shaped muscle, and its origin is in the floor of the temporal fossa. It originates from the temporal fascia. This is the origin of the temporalis muscle, and it is inserted into the this is deep anterior border and the medial surface of the coronoid process. This is the coronoid process of the mandible, and it is also inserted into the anterior border. This is the anterior border, anterior border of the ramus of the mandible. And now there is a trick to remember the action of muscles of mastication. You just have to think how will be the moment when the muscle contracts or shortens. That's it. Now let's see here. By the anterior and middle fibers, these are the anterior fibers, these are the middle fibers, and these are the posterior fibers of the temporalis muscle. And when these anterior and middle fibers contract or they shorten, the mandible will be elevated. And when these posterior fibers shorten, there will be the retraction of mandible. How easy is that? Now let's move on to the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is originated from the zygomatic arc, it's joining part of the zygomatic process of maxilla. This is the maxilla and this is the zygomatic process. It is originated here and its insertion is on the lateral surface of the ramus of mandible and also on the coronoid process. And its action is, is it is already, you all know the trick. When it shortens, what will happen? The mandible will elevate to occlude the teeth for the forceful bite. It is a very powerful muscle, so elevation of the mandible will take place. Now let's move on to the lateral pterygoid. This is the lateral pterygoid and in the same picture we have also got a medial pterygoid and the lateral pterygoid has two heads upper head and the lower head now origin of the upper head is from the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid this is the greater wing of sphenoid and from the infratemporal surface of the sphenoid this upper head of lateral pterygoid is originated and it is inserted into the pterygoid phobia on the anterior surface of neck of the mandible and also on the articular discs and capsule of tmj the lower head is originated from the lateral surface of lateral pterygoid plate. Now for the action of the lateral pterygoid. When it shortens, what happens? Let's think about. The neck of the mandible is pulled forward and hence the mandible depresses downward. When this neck is pulled forward, the mandible is depressed downward. And also when this contracts, there will be forward movement or protraction of the mandible. So depression and protraction will be brought about by the action of lateral pterygoid. Now moving on to medial pterygoid. Its origin is from the tuberosity of the maxilla. This is tuberosity of the maxilla and the superficial head originates from the maxillary tuberosity. And deep head originates from the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. And it is again inserted into the, this is the ramus and in the medial surface of the ramus of the mandible, the medial pterygoid is inserted. And its action is when this shortens, as you all can guess now, it will elevate the mandible and also protract the mandible. That's it. Isn't it very simple? Please share and subscribe if you love this video. And you can also send us your constructive feedbacks and suggestions in the email address provided there. Thank you. Have a nice day.